Do you feel intimidated by the gym? Don't really know what to put in your program or what exercises you want to use to spike it up? Well, that's perfectly fine. We all started not really knowing what we want to do or what program we want to follow or even what exercises we want to use. Now, I like to use the program PPL. This is push, pull, leg day. I find this is what helps me the most with growth. So these exercises that I'm going to show you are kind of based off of um, that program. Now, as always remember, we use a light weight to start and we always try and get our form down before we move up in weight at all. So let's look at something for our push day. This is known as landmine chest press. You can see the start position and end position, but let's see, let's actually look into this and see what needs to go. So I always start with a dumbbell. I like to push it up against a wall, or in this case where I was kneeling, I push it into a corner. Most of the time you will be kneeling, but because I have a table, I'm just standing for this one. I like to keep my hands almost like a prayer, like I'm praying my thumbs for the very end of the barbell. And then it, sometimes it takes a little bit of practice to figure out where you need to stand because you don't want the barbell too high, you don't want it too low. So usually you try and like get it down right to the center of your chest. Now this is why this exercise is so easy. You're not having to worry about a particular path to follow because the landmine is going to do it for you. So you're just going to follow that barbell. As you push, you just keep your thumbs at the end of the barbell and you're just going to follow that path. Now notice in the pictures and when I'm standing here, my shoulders, my hips, and my knees stay in a nice straight line and my core stays braced and tight. This means that I am nice and stable and I'm not gonna fall around or anything like that. So to recap, we wanna keep our core nice and braced. We want to make sure our hands either stay in a prayer or some people will even like grasp the pole almost, but I always prefer prayer. And then we're just following the path of the bar. We're not doing anything crazy, just following that path of the bar. Now let's look at something we can add to our pull day, or in this, and that's your back and your biceps. This is known as your dumbbell or your barbell back row. So let's take a look at it. In our start position, we usually start bent over. If you're just starting out, just a little bit of bend is fine, but if you get more advanced, you start to bend over a little bit more to put more concentration on those back muscles. But let's just start at a nice angle. I put my thumbs over the top of the barbell, but you can put them under too. But let's say, let's start over the top. You let the weight of the bar pull your shoulders down. And then you're going to think of pulling your shoulder blades back. Think of those muscles that pull your shoulder blades back. And those are kind of what we're working to pull this bar towards us. Notice how the bar almost stays parallel with my thighs. Now let's see it bends over a little bit more. Again, let the barbell pull my shoulders down. I'm just pulling my shoulder blades back to get my elbows back towards my sides. Notice how my elbows never go past my back. But at that point, you're not working your back anymore. You start, you start working your triceps a little bit more. We're, this exercise is going to focus on our back. So let's always remember when we're doing our barbell back, we're going to keep a nice flat back and we're going to think about pulling our shoulder blades back to get that barbell up into the, the finished position. So the last day is our leg day. Now let's think of an exercise that we can put in our leg day. And one that I always include are RDLs, whether it's dumbbell, easy bar, um, landmine RDLs, um, or even just regular barbell RDLs. In this case, I use dumbbell RDLs. I have a nice start position and a nice end position, but we want to take a closer look at it. So I always start, I keep my feet shoulder width apart. I put a slight bend in my knee. My hands usually go right on top of my thighs so I can keep that bar nice and close to my legs all the way down. And why I put a bend in my knees is it kind of gives me a chance to put more tension into my hamstring. So again, we have a slight bend in our knees. Our hands are on top of our thighs. I'm letting that, the weight of the dumbbell or barbell pull my shoulders down, and I'm gonna push my hips back. I'm not bending over. I'm pushing my hips back and letting that be the reason why my upper body falls forward. So we push our hips back like we're pushing a door open. We're keeping the bar nice and close to our legs. We can feel that pull in our hamstring. Again, even at my shins, that bar, against my shins and then we're pushing our hips forward 
almost like a book. Pushing our hips back, letting our upper body fall. Bar is staying close to your legs, and then we push our hips forward, stand back up. This one it takes some practice. You have to be careful because if you put too much tension or you're not doing your form right, you can hurt your lower back. So make sure you video your step. If you're using a, a light weight, if it feels too light, you're probably using the right weight to start with. So just always remember, your back nice and flat. Keep those dumbbells or the bar against your legs as you go up and down. You need to be thinking of pushing the door open with your hips. That way you'll have the correct form. So let's do a quick recap. Always start with the light weight. Don't be afraid to video yourself. Even after three years, I still video the first set of every exercise I do. I do not want to injure myself because an injury means you stop. You cannot progress forward until you fix that injury. So that's what we are trying to avoid. These three exercises shouldn't be the only things you should be doing. You should have some other exercises thrown in there. You should be trying to work most of your muscle groups. Rest days are important. Do not forget your rest days. Do not sleep on them. Get them in there and let your body rest and recover before you get to your next one. Now get out there, have some fun, and be careful.